Welcome back to Google Part 3. This is our last and tenth video in the series. And in this one, I will walk through steps like creating, um, choosing themes and fixing the navigation bar or changing the navigation bar, I should say. So the first thing we want to do is go into more and we can go into manage site. Once in there, it opens up lots of different things that you can do in Google Sites. Look at pages, attachments, templates, etc. We're going to actually go into Site Layout. I'm going to edit the navigation bar, and I'm actually going to add in the home page. We don't want to forget that. So Recent Changes, and the About Me page is right there. And that will be the first page that we use. Cal then Announcements comes next. Then Calendar. Then File Cabinet. Homework. Resources and Survey. So they are all in alpha order. I don't like to include the sitemap in my navigation, so I'm going to deselect that. What a sitemap is, is that it allows your students to be able to go in and see all the pages that you have created, even the ones that are not currently being used this year. And so I have many pages. I change the format of the class every time I teach it. And so if my students could get into the site map, they'd be able to see things like wiki spaces and they would see things like Facebook and other tools that I have taught in the past that I'm not going to teach this semester. And so I like to remove the site map. I'm going to click OK. It is now fixed on your main website and we'll look at that in a moment. Now you can go down to colors and fonts or themes. I'm going to go into themes Oh, I need to save this page. Make sure you save or it won't save your changes. So I'm going to go into the themes. I'm going to look at it and see kind of what I feel that would fit right with my classroom website. This schoolhouse one might work. Uh, treehouse might work. I'm actually going to preview the treehouse one and see what that one looks like. That's a little plain for my taste. So I don't want that one. Let me look at Schoolhouse and Preview. And that also is a little plain. I will try Winter Mint. Winter Mint is probably just fine for me, so I will choose Winter Mint. Hit save, and that is now on my website. You can go in and change colors and fonts, and I'll show you quickly what that does. It goes in for people who <coughs> want to be a little more specific on their website. You can change background colors, images, page fonts. I would encourage you to not get into this unless you're extremely comfortable with Google Sites. This is more of an advanced feature and not necessary for this assignment. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as is. I'm going to return to my site and now my site has a little bit of color to it. My navigation bar is current and it's in alpha order that helps my students and our website is now done. So I hope you enjoyed the Google Part 3. This is a fun assignment and I hope it doesn't take you too long. These tutorials should help you really roll through it. In the past, students have taken three and a half to five hours to create it, but with the new flipped classroom, I imagine that you can get it done in about an hour and a half to two hours. So you'll have to let me know how long it takes you. Make sure you kind of keep track of that so that I can change the time requirement for the assignment this time. Have a great week and I will see you next week.